you know, sometimes I look around and I just wonder, what's going to happen to all these people? All these lost souls who believe what they see on the news. Could you imagine if the power grid went out? People cannot live without their phones for five minutes. What if the power went out for five months? I mean, guys, have you ever thought to yourself that maybe one day that, well, simply put, you could take a shit and maybe you'll never stop shitting? Or maybe you'll take a piss and you'll never stop pissing? Or maybe you'll be jerking off or masturbating to some weird shit and you never Stop having an orgasm. Sounds pretty fun, right? What if it's not, though? Have you ever thought about that, you little fuckers? Have you ever thought about that shit, bitch, huh? Have you ever thought- Enough. Shut your mouth. We told you not to tell anyone about this, but you didn't listen. And now it's time for you to pay the price. Shifting my mind to get around you. Yeah, but what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the wonderful thing that we call the internet. And just right off the bat guys, I want to ask you all a simple question, okay? Is it possible that everything you've ever loved, that everything you've ever known, and everything you will ever love in the future or know in the future as well, is it possible that all of it is just simply, well, how do I put this, uh, hmm, oh I know, fucking bullshit. Well today we're gonna figure out because last night I was on YouTube, it was late as shit, and I was kind of feeling a little bit down. You know, like I was looking for a video that was just filled with quality and a bunch of positive vibes. You know what I'm saying? Like a video that just makes you feel good about yourself. And, uh, well, long story short, I ended up finding a YouTube video by the name of We Live in a Completely Fake Fucking World. And, you know, honestly, guys, I'm not even joking. After watching that video, I just feel great about myself. We live in a society where the Illuminati controls us. The Roth family is watching us as we speak, okay? The reptilian brothers and sisters are underneath us controlling us as we speak. Every single action we make is merely in an illusion of free will and secretly the work of fucking mind control drones itself how does it feel feeling pretty good now huh yeah yeah feels pretty good knowing the truth am i right Okay, I'm sorry, but really quick side note, what the fuck is this picture? I literally just looked up deep meaning on Google Images, and this just randomly came up, which just- What the fuck is this even supposed to mean? Is this supposed to be deep? What, what is Pokemon Satan? What the fuck? No, but today I thought we would watch this YouTube video by the name of We Live in a Fake World. And with that all being said, and without further ado, guys, everybody sit back, relax, get comfy, get ready for the secrets of life itself to be simply revealed to you in a fucking YouTube video. And yeah, guys, let's just get right into it. Pa -pa 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 -pa. Guys, the Illuminati is probably gonna kill me after I make this video. I'm just saying, okay? If I disappear, it's the fucking Illuminati. You know, sometimes I look around and I just wonder what's gonna happen to all these people? All these lost souls who. And just right off the bat, we got some fucking emotional ass music playing in the background. I mean, shit, I don't even know what else to say. Just everybody get ready for a powerful fucking video. All these lost souls who believe what they see on the news, believe voting can change a system, believe we're going to Mars. Look at all these retards that believe what they see on the news, that believe what they see on YouTube.com. What a bunch of fucking idiots. I mean, who the fuck watches the news and thinks any of this shit is true? I mean, I got an Amber Alert on my phone about 30 minutes ago saying that there was some dog missing in my area. And guess what? That's probably bullshit, too. It's all just a bunch of bullshit. That store that got robbed a few nights ago, okay, probably bullshit. The store probably doesn't exist. I mean, what the fuck is a Walmart anyways, right? What What, what is a Walmart? Probably some sort of corporate organization trying to mind control us. Am I right, guys? Up top. We are on the verge of the biggest transformation in human history. And all these people care about is, are you voting for Trump or Hillary? Who won the game on Sunday? Or did you buy an iPhone 7? Yeah, 
uh, sorry, but I'm gonna have to say incorrect. I mean, I'm sorry, but this guy is just plain out fucking wrong. Because I myself do not give a shit about any of those things, and to be honest, I probably should. I mean, it is literally the president of the country that I currently reside in. I probably should care, but... Shit, I'd rather just fucking argue with people on the internet, I guess. God damn. That sounds pretty fucking sad now that I think of it. Oh my god. I mean, it is my job, but I, I mean, I swear to god, I just sound like a fucking loser. Holy shit. It's because you are a faggot. Or did you buy an iPhone 7? It's truly unbelievable. Could you imagine if the power grid went out? People cannot live without their phones for five minutes. What if the power went out for five months? Uh, then no one would be on their phone for five fucking months. I mean, what the fuck are these questions? Are these supposed to be mind fucks? Like, you gotta love how hard this guy's trying to just be like a powerful speaker, bring in bricks of information. Like, he's doing the pauses between words and shit. Like, he's trying so hard, but in reality, he just sounds like, Have you ever went to the bathroom, slipped in the shower, and thought to yourself, What if someone put this water here? The obvious answer is, Well, you put the water there. You were the one taking a shower. Well, what if if you weren't though? What if you weren't the person that put the water there and the person that did was trying to kill you? Have you ever thought about that, huh? Have you ever thought about that shit, motherfucker? These people are lied to every single day of their lives. They are living the biggest lie they can possibly imagine. They are not going to know what hit them when this world crumbles and it will well to be fair i don't think anyone is going to know what hit them quote unquote if this world were to quote unquote crumble to the ground i mean seriously i can't think of even one person that wouldn't be even a little bit surprised if uh well i don't know society itself were to fucking crumble no but seriously the only people i can really think of that would actually not be affected that much by this is pretty much people living in africa as we speak that are living in huts because i'm pretty sure they wouldn't be that surprised i mean so those motherfuckers they would probably improve their life ironically fucking kunta sitting there eating a rock some motherfucker runs up to him, Kunta, there's a goddamn war going on! I bet you anything, Kunta's just gonna casually look up at him and be like, Bitch, I am literally 10 pounds and I am starving to death as we speak. I have the last degree of AIDS and on top of that, I fucking am eating a goddamn rock, okay? New Illuminati world order, bring the ass here. I bet you anything, they can't make it worse, okay? I will smack the ass. Oh, and by the way, I just want to let everyone know so no one gets fucking mad and freaks out about it. Yes, I know that not everybody living in Africa lives like that, but let's be real, there probably are a few people living in Africa living like that, okay? Like, Jesus Christ, I swear to God, with the current state of YouTube, you make a joke about Cuba and you got someone in the comments, I'm from Cuba and that's fucking offensive. They will wake up alright, but it'll be too late. I'm sure many of you feel the same, but sometimes I wish... I never thought for myself. Sometimes I wish I never looked into things, questioned the system, questioned reality, because it's just so overwhelming sometimes. Man, I don't even know what to say about this. I can just totally relate with this guy. I mean, I don't know. It just kind of sucks being the only person that knows that our society is being controlled by reptilians. Am I right, guys? Up top. This world is so sick. Everything is backwards, rigged, corrupt, fake, beyond comprehension. We live in such a synthetic reality. Everything about this world is fake. Fake food, fake political system, fake religious system, fake medical system, fake money, fake skies. Okay, okay, time out. Fake skies? What? I really hope he's one of those fucking annoying ass people that review movies. And he's not talking about literally the sky itself being a fucking hologram or some shit. Fake skies. It's unreal.
side note, by the way, Leafy just got up and grabbed a glass of water, but really quick, I'm just curious, right? Unless it's for monetary value like a diamond or something, I don't understand the issue with it. Like, you go around, you live life, and you see things, some things fake, some things being real, and according to a lot of people, whether or not these things are real or fake, it depreciates or increases the value. In my opinion, that is just completely fucking ridiculous. Think about it this way, guys. People on TV sometimes get exposed for being a fake person, whatever the fuck that means. Models get exposed for having fake tits, and people get angry about certain movies when there's CGI in them and it's not actual scenes. Now, although, don't get me wrong, I can see the value in something being real, I don't get why it ruins things for certain people. Like, there are actually people that sit there and say, Oh, yeah, dude, my dick was super hard when I saw this porn star. I really like this girl, but then I found out that she had fake tits, and that ruined it for me. Why the fuck did that ruin it for you? You either enjoy something, or you don't. Whether or not a sunset in a movie is CG, or it's a real sunset, should not determine whether or not you like the fucking movie. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You know what I think? I think in this absolute fake rigged reality in which we live, do you want to know what the only real thing is? The only thing that matters that's real? It's your spirit. Oh, so it's going to be one of these videos. All right, that's great. Your soul. The spiritual. Because they can't take that from you. That you can save. Because you can't change the system. I disagree 100%. The Illuminati, if you're hearing this right now, I'm coming for you motherfuckers, and I will fucking kill you. You guys better get ready because I'm gonna send a lot of viruses to a lot of your motherfuckers' computers, and then I'm, I'm gonna hack you guys, okay? I'm gonna fuck you guys up. This sick, fake world was meant to fall. And there's no other way around it. You think we're dealing with mere humans? These psychopaths in control are vessels. They're all influenced by forces beyond this realm, beyond your perception, beyond this physical dimension that you perceive. What the fuck? What? I swear to God. <laughs> I thought this was just a typical, like, hardcore religious video. Like, is this motherfucker actually going to say that, like, aliens run our government or some shit? I swear to God. They're all influenced by forces beyond this realm, beyond your perception, beyond this physical dimension that you perceive. Oh my god, did you hear that, guys? They're being controlled. We're being controlled. Every action we do is being controlled by a force that is beyond us, beyond this realm, beyond this universe, beyond your fucking room. You cannot even comprehend it. I want to know who's doing this. Please tell me. I got to know. I swear to God, if it's that one hacker by the name of Melvin, I'm going to fucking punch my wall. This is why the world is the way it is. This is how they are able to to carry out their sick agenda against us all and do the things they are capable of doing. Because understand, this goes beyond the flesh. This is why there is a new world order. Okay, okay, we get it, okay, we get it. Everybody is fucked, 9-11 is fake, everybody is fake, okay? Just tell us what the fuck is going on. Who is attacking us? Who is mind controlling us, okay? Is it the Illuminati? I swear to God, I will smack the shit out of them. If it's not the Illuminati, is it, is it uh, I, I, I don't know, fucking Satan or some shit? Is it the reptilian government, huh? Who's doing this to us? Because I swear to God, I want to know if it's fucking one of those hacking groups, I swear to God, dude. After many years on this journey, of finding some type of truth in this world. This is what I finally realized. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Oh, so let me get this straight. After many years of looking for the truth, many, many years, okay? He's pretty much a fucking monk at this point in time. All he's gonna do is reference a book. He's not gonna show us an alien body. He's not gonna go to Google Images and search the truth. He's not gonna fucking hack the FBI. He's just gonna reference a book. All right, fair enough, man. Fair enough. Let's fucking hear this truth, okay? I can't wait. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. This is what we are dealing with. Oh, 
Oh, so the ghosts are fucking us. Of course. Yeah, that makes complete sense. It was the ghost the whole time. Fucking, of course. Oh, my God. Up top, am I right, guys? Like, God damn, these fucking ghosts, man. Jesus Christ. This is why the world is the way it is. The way I see it, the sooner you understand this simple truth the better off you'll be. God bless. And that's it, guys. That's... <laughs> That's the end of the video. I mean, he basically ends off the video with, well, uh, no helpful advice whatsoever. Just a simple, hey guys, uh, the world's fucked up. And, uh, well, long story short, ghosts are controlling our political leaders and probably you as well. So, uh, yeah. Well, with that all being said, and in conclusion today, I think with everything going on in our society at this point in time, the ghosts, how bad it is, the fact that everything is fake, I think the best course of action and exactly what this guy was ironically hinting at with this video, that we, self-aware human beings, to understand what is controlling our government and the truth now, I think the best course of action that we could make now is to, uh, well, simply fucking kill ourselves. So yeah, I'm gonna be killing myself after this video. See you later, guys. Case closed. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you did, dude, or agreed with anything I had to say, if you could leave a like on this video, I would honestly appreciate the fuck out of you, and probably be willing to get down on my hands and knees and suck you. And not only would I be willing to suck you and appreciate the absolute shit out of you, but on top of that, if you leave a like on today's video, you refer a limit to time, no scam at all, will be receiving right after you leave a like on this video, a brand new state-of-the-art fucking lightsaber. This is not a joke whatsoever, guys. As soon as you leave a like on this video, you will be become a fucking Jedi. A lightsaber will be right underneath your blanket. Try it yourself. This is not a goddamn scam. No, but seriously, guys, thank you so much for all the support recently. Honestly, the amount of likes on yesterday's video was just absolutely crazy, and uh, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for that. I hope you guys are having an overall great day today. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, yeah, guys, watch out for the Illuminati. Peace out. See ya. All my exes hit me up like how you been.